acknowledge Australia's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, the traditional custodians of lands, waterways and skies across Australia. We thank you for sharing and caring for the land we learn and play on. We pay our respects to Elders and we share our friendship and kindness. Hi, my name is Dusty Wilson and I am a descendant of the Kuma and Murawari people. I'm the founder of Dreamtime Games based here in Toowoomba. Traditional Indigenous games were played by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander tribes all across the nation for a variety of reasons, including to teach valuable life skills and for fun. Today in this workshop, I will be teaching you how to play the traditional Aboriginal ball spinning game of Pira. You can play this game by yourself or with friends and family. Women of tribes around Lake Eyre made small gypsum balls to spin. This game was traditionally played by several players and the players whose ball spun the longest was the winner. You will need a large bowl, frisbee, dinner plate or frying pan to spin your ball on. You will also need a marble, tennis ball, billiard ball or other type of round sports ball to use as our gypsum ball. Today I'm using a golf ball as I find it gives us a better, longer spin. You will spin your ball on the surface of the upturned frisbee or similar object and try to keep that ball spinning for as long as you can. If you are competing against friends or family, the player whose ball spins for the longest amount of time wins the game. You can keep time by counting out loud or by using a stopwatch. When you are ready to start, hold your frisbee or item in one hand or put it on a flat surface. And with your other hand, get ready to spin the ball. Spin that ball by flicking your thumb and first and second fingers. The ball will move around the surface. Try and keep it in the middle of the disc for the best results. Try and use different types of balls to spin and different surfaces to spin on and see what gets the best results. A similar spinning game called Jalora was played in the northwest districts of Queensland around the Bullia area. This game also used a large round ball made of sand and clay and was baked hard in the sun. For an extra added challenge, you can get a larger ball like a soccer ball or a basketball and on a flat surface, compete with family and friends in a game of Jalora to see who can spin this larger ball for the longest amount of time. And that's it, you've played the traditional Aboriginal ball spinning game of Pira. We would love to see photos or footage of you and your family and friends playing Pira. Please share your photos using the hashtag homeprojecttr on social media.